Peace, peace, y'all. This is Beep with Odin Rock, Furious Styles Crew. This video is made for educational purposes, and so you guys know what I'm thinking and how I judge when I'm judging these battles. So today, we're watching the Squadron versus Battleborn at Vegas Shakedown 2018. Let's go. Watch the breakdown. some feedback of some people saying that the judges are trash what are we looking for how can we keep robbing people uh the community is not going to grow with judges like this i can't speak on behalf of the, the other judges which were uh b-boy smurf from concrete all-stars and b-boy wicked footwork fanatics renegades both respectable judges in my opinion so i'm only going to speak on what i know how i felt and then people can get maybe a different perspective on how i see things and maybe you can understand why i judged the way i did um and that way maybe you're missing something that i mentioned that you can take in consideration for the next time you dance or you could see if i'm missing anything and you guys can write something in the comments telling me what i'm missing or what i'm doing wrong as a judge because i feel like i'm one of the only last honest judges out there uh there's definitely judges who always give the go to their friends or to people just because they know they could do better the next battle to me it's all about that moment that battle um and again i have you know i've been dancing since 94 so i've seen it all um and i've been active and i've been there from the 90s to the 2000s till right now and uh so there's a lot that you you can't get past me without me not knowing where it's from some of the people nowadays don't even know where their moves come from. Um, uh, a lot of like people's basic moves now actually are like signature moves from b-boys in the 90s and the 2000s that I was there, that I was a part of, that I know that moves are uh, you know, not yours because I was there when so-and-so made it. So keep that in mind as a judge. You know, I have that experience. Um, I've been there for 24 years. I've asked questions to the pioneers of this dance. I've been part of the Rocksteady crew, which had Kent Swift, Wiggles, Legs, Easy Rock, Cool Ski. Uh, so at that moment, I was always getting knowledge, and not only knowledge from them, my brother House made me do homework. So I've got a bunch of knowledge, not just b-boying, but in the hip hop culture with writers, MCs, DJs, and the b-boys. So I like to think I hold a heavy voice um in in judging so with that being said let's watch the squadron versus battleborn at the vegas shakedown 2018 i'm gonna scoot over to the side so we can have the tv uh or the the image for you guys to see so you guys can watch it at the same time with me um and i might pause it and whatnot just so you guys can get an idea of how i'm thinking as a judge so here we go Okay, Battleborn starting off strong. That energy got lost. I like that he started the battle, but his energy kind of got lost. Mm, okay. Oh, that was incredible right there. That was nasty. That was nasty transition to that freeze. Okay. See if he finishes strong. Oh, a little flop right there. Let's see. Okay, so I'm gonna pause it right there. So I do like how that kid, I don't know his name, that was the first time I've seen him from Battleborn. I do like that he started the battle, but he didn't keep that intention, that approach throughout his whole round. He started off hard, like this is gonna be my round, and then he slowed down and tried to get people to clap. That just, I'm not gonna say ruined your energy, but it, it, if you would've stayed strong that entire round, it would have looked a lot better. Um, and so, and there was a flop at the end. Everything that there was mad difficult moves in there, mad, uh, there was original stuff that I hadn't seen before, which is very dope. I'm, you know, I was happy to see that because that kid, I don't know who he is, but he's going to be 
super nasty if he keeps it up and if he develops with what he's missing. Um, he didn't really dance. He didn't really do too much footwork. Um, and he didn't execute. So knowing that, Keebs is coming out next. Keebs is one of the most slept on B-boys in the universe. He doesn't get as much uh, recognition as he deserves uh, because he doesn't do explosive moves that people uh, want to see. But his explosiveness to me are in the details that he, that he does. His transitions, his takedowns, his top rocks. He's mad intricate with his footwork. His flow is ridiculous, the angles that he hits. Um, so to me, if Keebs does what Keebs does, all he has to do is stay clean and he's going to beat that kid's round because that kid flopped at the end. Um, that's another thing. Don't try anything you don't have yet. Um, I appreciate you taking a risk, but again, now you took that risk of failing and you messed up. So all the next person has to do is stay clean, in my opinion, um, and he's going to beat you around because what you did was cool before but you messed up at the end. So as long as this person stays clean, it doesn't matter really. He doesn't have to do too much because he's if he stays clean, he, he played it smart. And knowing Keebs, he's going to be clean. But let's watch this round and find out. Okay, he's already steezy with the tops. Whoa, that transition was crazy. Okay. Woo! Okay, I'm going to pause this already. That takedown that he did, nobody in the crowd saw that. Nobody seen what he did. Uh, his transitions, his, his form, his groove. Um, and it doesn't matter if, if I've seen Keebs do these moves before. Because not everybody's going to have a, an unlimited amount of brand new moves every time. So again, it's this battle. What did you do in this battle? I don't care if you've done it before. I'm watching and judging of this battle only. Um, so to me, Keebs already won that round. Um, I'm a big fan of takedowns. So just so you guys know, a, a, a takedown, your transition from the top rock to your floor or to your freeze or whatever you're going to do, I'm a big fan of that. And Keebs came in nasty with that. Had a sick little flow, had a little intricate move, and he's coming up to his footwork. Let's see. Okay, a little slide action. Intricate flow. Swing. Clean. Okay, he was clean. So that first round, I'm giving it to, to Keebs. That's one round uh, for Squadron. Um, and again, that kid uh, from Battleborn did do some difficult stuff. It was definitely original, but his energy was lost. Um, he didn't show me that he had any other footwork. He didn't do any top rocks. Or he did top rocks, but it wasn't like to the beat or with flavor. Um, and he didn't execute that last move. Uh, when you're doing difficult moves like that, it's going to be noticeable when you mess up. Because you just did a whole round of a bunch of crazy stuff, clean. And now your last exclamation mark, you you messed up. Um, so again, all Keebs had to do was stay clean. And he did more than stayed clean, uh, in my opinion. You know, keeps his flavor. You, it's very hard to beat flavor um, with just moves. So, and he had his moves though. So here we go. Uh, second round, J -So. J so. Okay, he comes in attacking. It wasn't the strongest attack, but he came in attacking. He came in strong. I like it. I like the energy. Ah, uh, ah, uh, boom. Fresh. Okay, that was the oh. Wrong direction, wrong direction, freeze. Nice 90. Click. He, 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 he hit that. He got out of it a little sloppy, but he hit that last one. But keep in mind, I'm gonna pause it right now. He just did two, three freezes in the wrong direction. And I mentioned this that day at the battle. If you're doing freezes in the wrong direction, I'm counting that as a flop because this is a fight, right? So you're trying to punch somebody. If somebody's right here and I punch and I miss, it doesn't matter that I tried to do a punch. I missed. It's not counting. Miss. Miss. I'm, I, I punched over here. I'm hitting my homie over here on accident because I missed. So it doesn't matter if you tried it. Uh, it's in the wrong direction. And in a battle, 
Uh, if you're in a cypher, yeah, sure, do whatever you want, any direction. But in a battle, you need to be aiming all your freezes towards your opponent. And not every single freeze needs to be towards your opponent. Because um, you could hit a freeze here and then hit something over here. Rockstripe be doing a lot of that. Prodigy does a lot of that, which is dope. So I'm not saying every single uh, freeze needs to be towards your opponent. But you can tell which ones you're trying to hit to your opponent and you're in the wrong direction. So let's keep that in mind as far as his rounds coming up. Okay, he's continuing. Little forward steps. That freeze wasn't strong and looks like he slowed down and kind of started over. Freezes in the wrong direction again, kind of flop. So, let's see, let's see what product he has. Oh, oh, the quick reply, the quick reply. So, he just did what JSOL did in the, in the beginning. With JSOL came in with that quick attack. Prodigy burned his attack. Uh, he went like two, three different directions, smooth, came back up, and again, I'm, it's about your transitions, how you get in and out of the rest of your stuff. Um, and I'm going to put this out there right now. I, I'm not a fan of the PS. Like, oh yeah, I just did my round, but let me stand up, restart, and do my top rock and do another round within my round. Like, yeah, bunch up your moves in, in, in your rounds if you want. Uh... But don't restart. Like, you got to be smooth about it. Don't let me know that you just restarted another round. Do another transition into that uh, next round that you're going to do. Um, so, let's go. Okay, Prodigy comes into those nice nails. Uh, with the beat on that, simple details. Okay, having fun with it. Bam. Boom. Short and sweet, short and sweet, and, and keep that in mind as well. A lot of people think that if you hit a long round and someone does a short round that you beat them. It doesn't matter how long your round is. It's quality over quantity. Somebody could do something real real short, but if it was impactful, it's impactful. Uh, you know, you know, Bruce Lee when he those punches where he hits people, he barely hits them and they fly. Versus somebody doing a bunch of stuff and then hits you. And it barely does anything to you. It's about the impact. Um, so short and sweet could be a long round. Keep that in mind. Because I know a lot of people are thinking his round was short. But again, it's it's quality over quantity. What he did was fresh, smooth, and clean. You know, uh, Jay Soul restarted and hit his freezes in different directions. So I gave that to Prodigy. Let's continue. Oh, okay. Now that was a dope attack. That was a dope intro. I don't know this kid's name from Battleborn. Okay, he... I saw that his foot dragged on that flare. And there's a PS. This is what I'm talking about. He's starting over. And it wasn't smooth. Okay. That was a sloppy uh, drop on his back. That last move, it was a weird angle. I'm gonna give it to you uh, as far as that angle. Um, but then he came up and yelled and it was he was yelling at his crew. And he tried to play it off like if he was meant to do that in that direction, but I know what you were trying to do and you stood up in the wrong direction. And um, yeah, so that's what's, that's what's going on for his run right now. Uh, I believe uh, Luigi is next. Um, so, he had a super dope intro. That attack was nasty. His power was somewhat clean. He dragged on that little Thomas Flare. And then he restarted his round, which is not helping the situation um, right now. Because, like I said, it's how you get in and out of your stuff. And if you're going to do that, do that with some style. Like, it was a total reset. So, let's continue. Hey, Luigi. Okay, that was a... Uh... Okay, so he started off with a super lazy for Luigi. That was a super lazy top rock. 
that windmill to that chair freeze for Luigi, for anybody really. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna call it out. That was mad lazy. That was that was kind of sloppy. Um, so he's not doing the best so far. He caught that next freeze at, right after that. So let's see what he does after that. But as of, as of now, it's almost an even round um, because he was lazy on that top rock and that chair freeze was, you know, it wasn't how he was trying to do. And, and I know Luigi stuff. Um, and, and again, just because I know people's moves, I'm not uh, that hard on them as far as like, well, you could have, I've seen you hit it better. And I, I don't like judges that are like that because it's, it doesn't matter if you see me do it better. Did I do it enough to beat this guy's round in this particular battle? Don't talk about what you've seen me do before. I'm going to hit a move better uh, another time um, if I had more energy or versus, you know, right now, but that I didn't have energy. It doesn't matter. How did I do? How was that round compared to other person? So judges, don't be doing that. Don't be doing the... I've seen you hit it better before because that's, you know, that's not, that's not fair for, for that person. So let, let's continue. Okay, Luigi restarts. Okay, into his signature. Boom, Halo, Bridge, Freeze, Clean. I'm not, I'm, I'm not even going to give that round to anybody. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make that note right there. That's a tie. That was a tie round because they... Both were equally sloppy. Uh, there wasn't much. If anything, Luigi w would be edging him bec with his original signature uh, move. And that, that Halo was clean. But that his top rock, his intro was, was pretty uh, lazy. And that chair freeze wasn't nice. And he restarted. So I'm going to give that one a tie because... They both had a, a weak round, in my opinion. Uh, uh, so let's continue. So right now we have one, two for Squadron uh, and a tie. So now we got Battleborn, guy with a dread starting off. I don't know his name either. I apologize. Okay, he's coming in strong. He attacked. He's attacking Luigi. Let, 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 let's, 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 let's stop there because there's a lot that goes into judging and I want you guys to know exactly what's going on in my head. So, he's attacking Luigi, which is good and more bad than anything because now you're telling me that you're not paying attention to the battle. He, Battleborn started the battle, so right now, this is their next round. So he's not replying to Luigi. He's starting the next round. So he should be calling out Peanut or Rocks right because they're the, the, the ones that are left in the battle. So he needs to be going up to their face because that's who's going to reply. So keep that in mind because I'm thinking now you're not paying attention to the battle. You went out after Luigi. Cool, you're, you're showing you're that you're, it's, you're aggressive. But it's not to the right person. So... Freezes, long direction. Oh, he caught that elbow spin. He caught that elbow spin to the freeze, and this is an example where that freeze didn't have to be exactly facing towards them, because um, he caught that, and it was nasty. And how he, he hit that spin, that was super dope. Um, he did hit a freeze before that, that was in the wrong direction, but he spun and hit that elbow freeze pretty nasty. So. Let's continue. Let's come back for more. Boom. Okay, that was interesting. Holding the leg. Okay, that was a strong round. That was a strong round. Besides him, um, not uh, or he had one freeze that was in the, in, the, in the wrong direction. Besides that, that whole round was strong. So nasty Ray needs to come with it because that's who's next. Uh, I, I should I didn't mention him. Nasty Ray. Um, and again, I know these guys, I have experience, you know, um, seeing them throughout the years. So knowing this, Ray really needs, he, he's like 50-50, especially nowadays. He's either going to execute and kill it, or he's going to, you know, freestyle, which is, which is dope. Um, 
but he usually doesn't execute when he's kind of just throwing himself around. So let's see what happens here because I know these B-boys. Okay, pretty lazy top rock. He's having fun, but you need to be battling. Okay, wrong direction. That butterfly twist was cool. Okay, wrong direction, kind of sloppy freezes. Continuing, and that little melting halo. So I'm gonna give that one to Battleborn. Um, again, he didn't attack them. Uh, his freezes were in the wrong directions. He was just going wild. He's not controlling himself. And in, in a battle like this, where the the um, the competition and everybody's really good, the smallest details could could mess you up. So I'm giving that one to Battleborn to the kid with the dreads. Um, he did, although he had that minor slip up, he had a strong around. He attacked them. Um, he had original moves, difficulty, and ended strong. So Battleborn got that one. So that's what one, two for a squadron. Uh, one for Battleborn right now. So two to one. So let's see what happens next. We got Guillaume coming up. Okay. okay. Okay, so Guillaume right now with those top rocks, his intro, I could tell Guillaume was not in his zone. And again, I'm not going to take this away from him like I just spoke about. It. I'm not going to take it away from him that I've seen him do better on top rocks, but I'm going to judge off what you just showed me right now. Um, but it does, the fact that I know you're not in your zone also plays a psychological part on how I'm viewing the rest of the round. Um, so, yeah, he wasn't really playing with the music. It was, it was a kind of, you know, um, lazy top rock just to get into this next move. Let's see, let's see how he does. And again, he's starting this next round. Okay. Almost, almost fell out of that freeze. I'm, I'm gonna give it to him. He restarted. He didn't catch that right there. He did a Valdez. His foot tapped on the floor. Made it look like he wanted to do that. I know he probably didn't want to do that. But again, it's a, it's still a, a decent enough round to let's see what Peanut has to reply. Peanut, again, is uh, right now he's... He's a, a, a new Jack and he's hungry, so he might come out kind of strong. Um, but let's see what he does with it. Um, so, you know, Guillaume had that that uh, that lazy intro, did some a couple strong movement movements in the in his round, uh, and let's see. Now it's got that energy. Okay, so he did that little head twist. Um, that wasn't really a big move for me, um, especially because it's not an original move. Those kind of movements, you need to kind of take to the next level. Um, the person who I think that made those moves, um, that this head moves big is Little Rock. Um, and that kind of twist one kind of stems from B-Boy Remind as well. He hits those. Um, so you're already doing a move that two big name B-Boys before you have done that I know about. So whether that would, a crowd gave him the O or something, or he feels it was dope. Um, with my experience, that wasn't a move that was his. So let's continue. Still got the energy. Okay, that little 90 drop was dope. That little flare. Little suicide flip. Wrong direction. Okay, 
day to some more footwork. Okay, so I'm gonna have to give that one to Gim. Um, Pina has a lot more experience to go. Again, he's a young buck, um, but he didn't really do any original moves. He had the energy for sure. Um, but again, he did moves that I've seen other people do before. And even that little suicide drop that he did, which a lot of people do. Um, I've seen Prodigy flee. Uh, it's just an old move, you know, even B-Boys in the 80s, you know, uh, Thunder, you know, Battle Squad. Um, so it's been done. So you, I, I wouldn't use moves like that as your strong moves. Maybe use them in between um, your rounds, but not as like your main hard hitting moves. Um, because of a judge like me that's been there and I've seen it all, um, that doesn't really do much for me. So I'm giving that to Guillaume. So that's one, two, two for Battleborn, or I mean two for a squadron, one, two for Battleborn. Okay, so now we're tied. It's a close battle. We're tied. We got two more rounds left. Let's see what happens. Battleborn with the flannel. Okay. So far so good. You can tell he's a, a prodigy from uh, ATN and Guillaume. I'm not mad at that. Strong, strong. Bunch of footwork. Oh, he kind of fell and he tapped right there. So he hit his elbow freeze, fell and slid at the end, tapped. Wasn't the greatest finish with that little dolphin dive. He did have good energy. I'm gonna pause it right now. He did have good energy. Um, and sometimes you can get away with, with uh, different moves and not hitting stuff when, it, it's a battle, you guys. It's, it's a fight. You gotta be coming in like you're attacking people. So just by having that approach, you're already, you know, you might beat the next person who, does, who doesn't have that approach because they're not seeing it as a battle. So you got to be aggressive. And a lot of people don't like that uh, about Battleborn because they're always like that. I actually do like that um, to a certain, uh, to a certain uh, extent. Sometimes I, I've seen they go a little overboard. Like, okay, you don't have to be that aggressive uh, because now it just shows that you're mad. Sometimes they can, they can do it when, when they're losing. And people start getting aggressive and they use that to kind of compensate for the moves that are happening. But I, I do feel that you need to be strong and you need to be aggressive and have that attitude because it's a, it's a battle. The word is battle, fight, okay? So he just did his thing. Um, he, he flopped on that elbow freeze. Um, he tapped his toe. I saw that. And it wasn't the strongest ending with that little dolphin dive. So, coming up right now is Rock's right. We all know Rock's right. He's 99.9.9.999% of the time he's going to execute. My only thing with Rock's right, and I'm going to let you guys know right now, um, is he doesn't dance uh, as much as he should. His top rocks are very uh, limited, and he doesn't play with the music. Um, but... I think he knows that, so he makes up with it with his transitions, his footwork, his techniques, his original moves, his billions of phrases that he hits on you. So I think he's aware of that. Um, so that's my only thing is I would love to see Rock's right dance more because I definitely think he's one of the top b-boys, but it's hard for me to say you're a top b-boy if you're not dancing um, or and your musicality is not there. Uh, so... Rocks, don't get mad at me. I just want to let you know because I want to see you get better. Everybody on this video, I'm not saying this to put anybody down. It's because I want to see people get better and I'm expressing my opinion because some people wanted to hear my opinion and I'm giving it to you guys. So here we go. Rocks, rocks, rocks. Okay, and I'm going to pause it real quick. Uh, with, with rocks and his top rocks, just because just there's a different angle to this as well. Um, you don't always have to be funky, you know, I, I don't mean that you need to be funky and, and hit every single beat because there are times where you could just 
mean business. Like I'm, I'm here to, to wreck shop and I'm going to murder you and a quick top rock will do. And, and then here's the rest of my stuff. Um, so those are fine too. And rocks has those moments where he does his, his little quick top rock and he gets down to business. I, I can tell when you're doing that though, you know, so let's go. Uh, slide freeze. Mm. That freeze almost could have been in a better direction. He can hit it. Bam. Hit those freezes. Bam. Shrink. Boom. Oh, switched hands. Kid's crazy. He was a little sloppy on, on that last transition, but he stayed clean and did with that little boom. So that was a. I'm going to give that one to Squadron. Um. He had a, uh, yeah, you, you, it's hard to beat when you have a bunch of original moves and freezes in different directions, um, and he means business. So he, he did lack on his top rock, um, but he had, the rest of his round was good, even though he did have a minor, two minor slip-ups, I would say one of his first freezes could have been aimed a little bit more to the crew. But he still hit it uh, enough at an angle enough to where I'm gonna let that one slide, and then he had another little slip up when he was on the head, but his foot didn't didn't tap and he still caught it. And, and again, it's one of those like I know you could do better rocks, but you still executed because it wasn't sloppy. He didn't tap, um, and then there's it's very difficult to be original moves and freezes going both ways. So rocks right executed that. Uh, over uh, Battleborn on that. So now we got three for uh, Squadron, two for Battleborn. Let's see the final round. round seven. Okay, that was that wasn't clean, but it was raw. But it, he, he he looked fresh. He tapped on that flare a little. Okay, so I'm gonna stop that right there. He, was, he started doing those flare elbow travels, elbow travels, uh, and everybody's giving him the O's. But again, I've been in the game for 24 years. Um, I started seeing, you know, Moy do those, Boy have it Koro do those. Um, who else was Kareem? Um, so, yeah, it's a cool move. Uh, but it's not yours, so I'm not counting it. And he flopped out of it. So let's continue. Freeze, wrong direction. Wasn't a strong hit. Try to continue. He should have continued. Uh, nothing happened on that. So that kid had the good energy. Um, as far as, you know, his approach. He didn't do any original moves. He did people's signature moves, so that's, you know, now you're, you're biting. Uh, and then his last freezes were in the wrong directions. Um, so Prodigy's coming up for the last round. Again, knowing Prodigy, the kid executes. I'm still not going to judge off what I've known him to do. Again, I'm going to judge off what he does now. But it's going to be kind of tough to beat Prodigy. Um... Uh, <laughs> So let's see what happens. Okay. Added some flavor on the top rock. The Oof. Okay, that was crazy. So, again, you don't have to do too much to show me that, you're, that you got flavor in your top rocks. Besides Keebs, Prodigy was the only one, other one that showed me some style in his top rocks. That's the, the very first step. That's step one, guys. Top rocks. Like, I don't understand how people are not having top rocks and then continue to the rest of their rounds. Like, when you're learning, I guess it's how you, how you learn, too. But that's, like, the very first step is, is the dance. This is the dance. So people skip top rocks, like, in total. Just come in. And there's times where, yeah, you can come in. I, I do that a lot where I have attacks or whatever. Um... But still show that it's a dance. Like, especially when in the whole battle nobody's doing top rocks. Like, yo, you have judges like Wicked. Wicked. You have Smurf. These guys will tell you, but top rocks, dance. 
I see them preach about it. And you know you have a judge of, of three of us like that. You know our style. You, you, you kind of know how we think. So I don't mean to go off on that. But Prodigy did a nice little, uh, you know, some little flavor top rock right there. And then his transition right after that, I don't even remember. But he went like both directions. Uh, let's continue. And he hit it. Oh, that elbow freeze. That was nasty. Beat. And okay, another short, short bit sweet. Again, against another person uh, at a different kind of caliber, maybe that wouldn't have been the best round. But Prodigy didn't have to do too much against that kid that just went out from Battleborn. But it was short and sweet. It doesn't really matter who was in that battle. He could have had more energy, but he still hit some original stuff. Intricate. Um, he has a nice flow. And he, you know, he did what he had to do for that run. And no more was needed. So that's four for Squadron, um, two for Battleborn, and a tie. Yep, seven rounds. So that's how I looked at this battle. So if people see it differently, put a comment below. Let me know what you guys think. Um, I'm just giving you guys my opinion. And at the end of the battle, the three judges, all three unanimous decision gave it to Squadron. Um, so yeah, man, I uh, hope you guys get where I'm coming from. Um, I'm down and I'd love to be judging more. So if there's anybody that sees these videos or wants to see me, you guys could send me another video that you guys want me to judge to see how I looked at a battle. So you can get an idea, more idea of how I'm seeing things. Um, but yeah, man, you, you have to you dance first things first, musicality, originality, Execution, flow, transitions, you know, you got your top rocks, your footwork, your spins, your freezes, uh, all that comes into consideration. And when nobody has that, it's like, okay, who's who's biting the best now? Is is sometimes you gotta judge off that, like who bit better, like what the hell? And and that's because judges and promoters and you know, people doing these events are not speaking up. Like I'll get on the mic and I'll tell you guys, just like I'm speaking up on these videos. I'll keep doing these and, you know, feel free if you, if anybody has a question on why I judge a certain way. If I have time, I'll make a video like this because I want to do more of these so we can have more communication and talk about, you know, the situation because there are a lot of bad judges out there and I agree. Um, so that's that. And yeah, Judge Odin.